I'm back with another video. My name is Ivana, in case you never watched the video on my channel. And I rarely do tips and tricks videos, but now I feel it's really necessary because a lot of people are coming back from holidays. Travel depression is a real thing. I have I have definitely experienced it myself in a very dramatic way that I, when I returned from a holiday in 2012, I went back to work and I was literally crying every day in the office because I just didn't want to be there. I was happy with the work I was doing, but the, the holiday was just so amazing and the contrast was just too big. So I just wanted to give you my four, um, well, my four tips on how to deal with travel depression. Let's start out with tip number one, book another trip. Seriously, there is nothing better for battling travel depression than just booking another trip. You don't even have to book it. Just go on Skyscanner, check out all the destinations you would like to go, put something in your calendar if you don't wanna book it immediately, but you really need something to look forward to in order to battle that feeling of travel depression. It is my best tip and nothing works as good as this one. The second tip is get back into that routine. So when I'm on holiday or when I'm traveling, I have a very, very loose routine. So I don't do as much yoga as I do at home or I go to bed very late. But when I get back home, I try to get back in my home routine as soon as possible. So at nine, p.m. in the evening I give my phone to Stefan my boyfriend because project sleep is into action I don't I don't want to be looking on social media anymore because something always happens and then you're so excited about that and you can't sleep anymore so I give him my phone at 9 p.m. I go shower I brush my teeth and uh, when I'm in bed I read a book for an hour or something or until I feel tired and I go to bed also in the morning I try try to usually wake up at 6 even if I'm very tired, I will wake up at six, meditate, um, maybe do yoga afterwards. And then if I'm still tired, I will just go to bed. I learned the importance of routines when I had a burnout and it was really the thing that helped me most to get better as soon as possible. And it also really helps for me when I get home to battle the travel depression. Just get back into that home routine and then you can think about that instead of, oh, I wish I was on a tropical island. The third tip would be to really get back into your life at home. So this is a little bit different than the routine thing, but like start cooking your own meals again, start wearing the clothes you can't wear on holidays. So for instance, on holidays, I wear a lot of summer clothes, but in the Netherlands, I can wear a lot of winter clothes because it's usually very cold, even in summers or whatever. And that will, you know, make you see or make you appreciate the things that you have at home more so you don't feel so depressed about not being on a tropical island again. For me, it also really helped when I returned from India in December last year. So I traveled through India for two months and I got home and I thought, oh, I'm gonna miss India so much, but I got home in the holiday season. So Christmas was around the corner, Santa Claus was around the corner. There were lots of paper notices. If you have no idea what paper notices are, you are seriously missing out on life. If you're in Amsterdam during the holiday season in December, you have to get it. It's like small biscuits and they taste oh, freaking delicious. They're only available during that time before Santa Claus, I think, and after that they're on sale. I'm getting distracted by paper notes, of course, food is involved. And <laughs> anyways, what I'm trying to say is try to look at the things that you really, really appreciate at home instead of trying to focus why life on an island is so much better. Because you know, every place has its pros and cons. And so just don't focus on the cons when you get back home, focus on the pros. The fourth tip is to Take those things you really, really like on your holiday and try to incorporate them as much as possible in your home life. Because for me, I read a lot more books when I'm on holiday and I also, you know, I tend to move a lot more. So when I'm at home, I try to incorporate those really, really positive things that I experience on holiday in my home life. So I started reading more books, I started exercising again and it, it really helps me because those are the things that make your holiday um, really nice, apart from the sun, which we don't have in the Netherlands. But you know, I can't do anything about that, but I can do something about the things that are easy to incorporate in my daily life. The one thing I really don't do is try to look back too much. So, you know, 
uh, cry over pictures of the holiday or look back at my vlogs too much because that will only make you more depressed and at that point when you get home and you're already experiencing travel depression you just want distraction and positive things and not think about you know not trying to go back in time because it's not possible that's that's the thing like you can't do it i hope this video was helpful if you're experiencing travel depression or just some after holiday depression if it was please put a thumbs up and if you want to travel along with me and get a lot more travel inspiration click that subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye